Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalence in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to keep or select unmatched records when we are merging data. Let's say we have this input data set which is called sex in which the information for three students named Alfred, Henry, Mary is present. And let's say we have a second data set named AHW in which age, height and weight is present for Alfred, Henry and James. So the Alfred and Henry are common to both of the data sets. Mary is exclusive to the first data set and James is exclusive to the second data set. So there will be cases in which where we will be interested in identifying the records which are exclusive to a particular data set so and we need to subset those so here in this case i am interested in subsetting the students who are exclusively present in the first data set which is six so and my desired output should look something like this i need to identify the names of all the students who are present only in the six data set but do not present in the second data set which is ahw so how do we do it in sas so before that let's try to understand the uh, processing so whenever we are merging things based on uh, by variables what happens is it actually any system would actually try to create in the back end the unique list of values present in that by list of by variables across all the data sets so here in this case we have two data sets so the overall unique names are Alfred Henry James and Mary and it the system should also try to keep a track of things like which have uh, whether a particular data set is contributing to that uh, name value or not. So in terms of SAS, so if we create temporary variables A and B using n is equal to data set options. So what happens is for a unique name value, which is coming from a data set, which we have identified with the temporary variable A would have a value of one. Let's say we are identifying the name values, which are coming from the first data set, which is six using a so for all the names that are coming from sex data set would have a value of one and for the names which are not coming from that data set will have a value of zero similar is the case with the second data set say for example if we are identifying the name values coming from the second data set which is ahw with the value of b for all the names which are coming from that data set will have a value in that temporary variable b uh, in a value of one in that temporary variable b otherwise the value would be zero so here if we see as james was exclusive to data set b so the value of was one here and the value of a was zero here and mary was exclusive to the first data set which we have identified with a so only for that a is one but for b it is zero so how do we try to get to this end result of subsetting mary which is only present in the first data set let's see the sas approach first so we need to specify the names of the data sets that we want to merge and then we need to specify the list of by variables on the by statement based on whose values we want to join the records and we are also making use of this n is equal to data set option to create temporary variables so in this case we are identifying the name values coming from sex data set with the value of a and the name values coming from the data set ahw with b so we have seen how this processing happens when we say if a and not b so what happens is it identifies the names which are coming from sex but not in ahw so mary is the only such record so this code gives us this end result and we are naming that as unmatched so how do we replicate this case in our tidyverse so we have something called as anti join in our tidyverse package which gives us the same result so here if we see we need to specify the name of the first data set as the first argument and the name of the second data set as the second argument and then the by statement as the third argument so what this what this anti join does is it filters only the name values which are exclusive to the first data set but not present in the second data set so this replicates the same logic so one thing to note here is that we as we are interested in keeping only the 
records which are exclusive to A or which is sex. So all the variables which are coming from the second data set will have no meaning. That's why we are making use of keep is equal to name here, which means all, only the by variables which uh, we want to join the data sets will have meaning in this case. Even if we uh, do not keep this keep is equal to name, we will get all the variable names which are present in second data set in the output data set, which is age, height and weight will still be coming in the output data set, but all of them will have null values because we are exclusively filtering only the name values which are present in first data set, but do not have a match in the second data set. Whenever there is no match in the second data set, all the variables coming from that, asset, that data set will have missing values. So which adds no value as such. So here we are keeping name is equal to. So anti join does that by default. It does not bring any variables which are exclusive to the second data set into the first job, first data set. So it only checks whether a particular name value is present in the second data set or not. If it is present, it just drops that record from the output data set. So now let us move to the demo. So let's have our R session and SAS session side by side. So here I am using data lines to create the, my input data set sex and AHW. So let us run these two uh, data set code. I have my sex data set and AHW data sets created now. And then in order to join two data sets, we must ensure that they are sorted based on the same by variables which we want to join the data sets in SAS. So we are sorting the two data sets, sex and AHW here based on the values present in name variable. And then we are using this code of joining sex and AHW and creating temporary variables A and B for identifying the records coming from uh, sex and AHW respectively. And then making use of the subsetting if statement to filter only the name values, records of the name values which are present only in uh, sex data set but not in AHW data set. So let us run this piece of code and then try to see the output data set. So here now we have the record for Mary and the associated variable, sex variable which was present in the first data set. So now let's come to the R version of it. So let us try to execute this lines of code which creates the input data sets for us. So I have my sex data set and AHW data set created. And now let us run this unmatched uh, code which uses anti join to create unmatched. So here I am interested in fetching the name values which are exclusive to uh, sex data set. So that I need to specify as the first argument. So and the related uh, second data set is in the second argument and then let us run this piece of code and then take a look at the unmatched data set. Now we have the Mary's record identified. Let's say we have to identify the records which are exclusive to AHW. How do we do it here in R is so we will have to specify AHW first and then followed by six. So if we, we have seen that the James record was exclusive to AHW. So let us see if we will get that result here. So let us run this. Now unmatched should have been overwritten. And now we if we see James record is identified. So if we have to replicate that in our SAS, so how do we do it? So we can just say if b and not a and here we can make use of the keep is equal to option to name and then just change it remove the keep option on the ahw data set if b which means the name values which are present in ahw data set but do not but do not appear in the six data set let us now run that code and then open James. So if we see now, we have James record identified. So here we were able to switch things uh, using that A is equal to and B is equal to, but it always, uh, in, in the case of anti-join, it always uses the first argument and then checks whether there is a match in the second argument or not. So if you want the opposite case, so we'll have to switch the arguments of this. Thank you for watching. 
and keep learning